and he goes, no, he's dead. They shot him. They shot him. And um, he turns the camera, and I see my brother laying down in a puddle of blood. The Kolinga family is now mourning the loss of their loved one who was shot and killed last night while he was playing video games inside his home. His 18-year-old brother was sitting right next to him when it happened and saw it all with his own eyes. Good evening, I'm Monty Torres. Liz Gonzalez has the night off. Thank you for joining us tonight. The family has identified the victim as 16-year-old Julian Andrade. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco spoke with the family. She joins us now with more on this ongoing homicide investigation. Myra, what are you hearing? Monty, the family tells me Julian was the youngest and the goofiest in the family. His 17th birthday was less than two weeks away, and now funeral planning is underway. Now they just say they want closure and to find the person who did it. My mom's devastated. You know, she said it's her baby boy. They took him away from her so young when he was just trying to live. And, and we just want justice. Claudia Barcaro says her baby brother, 16 year old Julian Andrade of Kalinga, was murdered. It appears somebody fired multiple shots into this home. Uh, it struck the 16 year old boy who was inside. Barcaro says the bullets made their way through this window and struck Julian, who was playing video games with his older brother. He did not survive. It happened around 9 p.m. near Houston and Louisiana Street in Kalinga. It's unbelievable. Like, we can't believe he's gone and they have gotten away with it so far. And we're just hoping that, you know, coming out and speaking to the community, we're able to get some help to serve justice for what they did. Investigators are now trying to do exactly that. What we do not know is how this person got there and how they left. Uh, did they arrive on foot? Was a car involved, a bicycle, a scooter, skateboard? Uh, we're hoping that maybe some people that live in this area have some cameras that captured uh, some of the suspect's movement. Julian would have turned 17 years old on the 29th of this month. The month of April is already hard enough for the family, as is. Just sad. You know, all the emotions you go through when you're grieving. Um, because a year ago, on April 2nd, our other brother passed away. So this is just devastating. He was such a loving boy. Um, he, you know, he loved his family. He just stayed to himself for the most part, you know, just playing Xbox. Deputies believe this was not a random act. They say it is possibly gang related. Again, they are encouraging anyone with information or with footage in the neighborhood where it happened to please contact the department or Valley Crime Stoppers. Monty. All right. Thank you, Myra. A GoFundMe fundraiser has been created to help the family lay Julian to rest. If you would like to help, we have provided the link for you and on this story on KMPH.com. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.